Hello everyone. I am here with my wife again. Are you Hi. going to say hello? Hi. So we have decided to speak about what to look for in a spouse. You know, we believe that some people look for how can I say it? Things in a person. I think some people choose or choose to marry a person for fragile reasons and may wonder why it did not work out or why it failed or whatever else like that. So let me let my wife begin with that. Go ahead, Bento. Well, I believe if you want a successful marriage, you should look, the things you should look for, somebody who serves God. Because if a person loves God, you know, they will be able to love you. Someone who is um, forgiving, somebody who is able to talk, What do you mean by able to talk? To communicate with you when there is issue. I believe marriage needs communication. So you have to look for that in a person to where you and that person can sit down when you have issues and talk about it. And also you should look for somebody that when you have issue, they will not run to that relatives and say this and that, but they will run to God with your issues and pray about it. A marriage to be prayed for. Your partner should be able to pray with you and forgive you, be able to settle things and try to wake up whenever things fall apart. Wake up? What do you mean by that? Like if, because some marriages break because people don't want to settle issues. So if, if you have a partner to where you and him can talk about issues and after that issues, you can let go of the past and move on. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I think some people mainly go for the outward appearance. You know, hey, this woman is so beautiful. This man is so handsome. Or this man have so much money. Like, this woman has a large behind or a large chest and I think some people may judge or pick a spouse based upon those things and I think that is very dangerous for me I think spiritual maturity is very important like for instance will this man treat the wife based upon the Bible? Will this woman treat the man and the marriage based upon the Bible? Because yeah. if, you know, some Christians may believe it is wise to marry a Muslim or it is wise to marry an atheist, like, if what you believe and what the other person believes is different, like how can things really work out? Like this person believes that, for instance, that they can beat their wife and cuss them out and be very rude and mean. And you believe that you should be treated with respect and honor and stuff like that so 
pretty much choose a person with the same or similar beliefs as you. Yes. Don't be so, I guess I can say, occupied by the outward appearance. Because I believe, yes, I believe there are some beautiful men and women out there, but once you are with them, like how are how is your relationship with them can you get along can you communicate as my wife was speaking about earlier i think communication is very very important do you have anything else to add ben to yeah concerning um people getting married because of how the person looks you know, that's true right there. Some people marry for the wrong reason, like how this person looks. He's so cute and she's so pretty and all that. I believe if you marry a person because of beauties, at the end of the day, that person will get old. Their skin will get wrinkles and exactly. that, that beauty will fade. They will not remain yeah. the same where they are right now that breast will start to sag and everything on them so it's best to um marry because you see that person wants to serve god with you you see good reasons in marrying that person not just because of how they look i used to be um chasing men because of the way they look but i was chasing them for the wrong reason and i kept on falling into the wrong trap because most men that i would chase back then they were arrogant and don't want to talk and they think they're all that and things did not work out so it's it's best to find somebody that love god and, and love you for who you are and and not because you're pretty and not because you have money or you have car or you you from this family marrying based on those things at the end of the day that Mary would not stand so pretty much what you are saying or what we are saying Mary based upon personality yeah. like Mary based upon maturity yes spiritual maturity and I guess, well, I guess if I say spiritual maturity, that deals with our everyday life. Yes. Yeah, like you may be very attracted to the outward appearance, but how long are you going to be attracted to how they are outwardly? Mm -hmm. To me, respect it's more important than how beautiful a woman is. Like, okay, let's say you get that beautiful woman or man, but they cuss you out, they cheat on you, they treat you like trash. Like, how is their beauty an asset to you? Unless mm. someone is paying you for how beautiful your wife or husband is. But what is that to you if you and that person is not getting along. Yes. And let's turn the conversation to, let's say that you have prayed for a spouse, which I truly recommend. And let's say that you have received confirmations that God has sent you this woman or God has sent you this man. I believe if you do things in that way, you are going to have opposition. And if you like, Bintu, um, maybe you can explain some of the opposition that you and I had in 
trying to get married and stuff like that? The opposition, like you mean the bad things that happened? Um, some things, <laughs> some people, yeah, the bad things and pretty much some things people, you know, stuff people were telling you and all this other stuff, like stuff people tried to do to get you to not get married to me. Okay. Um, I believe if you want to get married also... You know, do not listen to um, too many people. I'm not saying don't listen to anybody. Once you know that person is giving you the best advice, I think it's best to take it. But if you know that that person may know good for you, I don't think it's wise. Because back in the past, when me and my husband were trying to get married, I had a lot of people coming to me and telling me, all type of stuff to, to to discourage me to break up with him. Don't let a man, you know, control you. Don't let a man tell you to do this. You know, don't bow down to a man. You have to be a strong woman. You don't have to be submissive all the time. So I believe if you want to get married, you should read the Bible like we did. We went to scriptures that talks about I talk about marriage, you know, those scripture helps, like it, those scripture help us to where we, um, I saw them for myself, you know, what the Bible say, how I should treat my husband and, you know, my, my role to play in my marriage. I saw them for myself. So I'm trying to implement what the Bible says and not listen to other people. So pretty much, and I think this is one of the problems too. I think some people try to use common sense in spiritual things. Other than obeying what the Bible says, using, I guess, carnal knowledge or what everyone carnal believes is right and doing that in marriage, if that makes yeah. any sense. I mm -hmm. believe marriage is a godly thing. And exactly. if you want to be successful in a godly thing, I believe you have to go by godly rules. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, some things that she may have not said, I believe... Um, and I think this was a very spiritual thing. I believe she had like woman after woman telling her that she should not do this and she should not marry, you know, a man that lives in a certain area or you should be like this towards that man or you should like things that aren't really their business but trying to put their input into it maybe it was out of jealousy and yeah. of course with me you know I had people telling me that watch out for this and watch out for that and make sure this and make sure that you know pretty much what I am trying to say because I know I prayed for a wife and I know she prayed for a husband too and yeah. I think that we received so much confirmations that it was meant for us to get married mm -hmm. and I think demons have and still is to a certain extent tried so much in trying to get us to not marry each, each other. I think some people might believe, well, if it is meant for us to be married, then everything will go easy. Everything will go right. No, <laughs> I don't think so. I believe you will always have opposition. 
So I think yes. it is very good to communicate with whoever you are trying to marry so much. Mm -hmm. Like, get to the point to where, like, look, no matter what I hear, no matter what happens, I am going to believe you and you are going to believe me because yeah. I believe you will get to the point to where people will lie and mm -hmm. say that, hey, you know, your fiance is doing this and doing that. You know, that person is uh, rude or, you know, like. Is um is the word slander? Or let me say lie on whoever you are trying to be with. You have to get to the point, I believe what is important as well, is to pray with your fiance, pray with your wife, husband, your spouse. Yeah, your spouse, so much. Do you have anything else to add, Bento? Yeah, lastly, like, before you get married to a person, make sure you know that person. Make sure you take your time to study that person. That's what I did. I watch him and and I listen keenly. What do you, you mean know, by watch me? I watch you meaning that I I look for the bad things and the good things. I patiently waited to see, you know, you know, why is he talking like that? You know, why is he acting like that? So if if pretty much if you if you um get to know a person personality, I don't think somebody will come from the outside and tell you this is how this person is because you already know that person. So it will be easy for you to not believe what another person is saying. That is why you have to take your time to get married, not to just see this person today and just rush in and get married because you want to be married. You have to take your time to know that person, that like and dislike, and you have to talk to that person. And two of you, you have to study each other's personalities and 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 know that if I am able to take this, am I able to live with this person for the rest of my life? You know, so let me go and get married. You don't have to listen to the outsider if you really take your time to study that person. I think that's my point. Yeah, so, so much talking. Like, hey, you know, I like this. I dislike that. You know, or I feel disrespected when you said this. Why you say that? So, I think, <laughs> what is that called? Like, not true. Is it true love? Or what is that thing called to where... Uh, people believe that everything should be perfect with, like, if it's meant to be, everything should be perfect. I forget what name they call that. Like, first, mm. I don't know. But I, I believe either. I can say this, huh? I don't know either <laughs> what you want to say. I believe I can say this, though. Even if God has brought a woman or man to you, I believe it is going to take work. And there may be many issues that may arise, but if you are patient and if you choose to be understanding, I believe you can work through those issues and make things work. And then also too, when you get married, you are no longer an individual. No longer. Yeah. You are one, when you get married, you are one with that person. So you can't have like a selfish mentality as if you are single, I guess I can say, you no. can't have a selfish mentality when you are married. You know, you 
you have to consider the other person. Yes. You know, you can't live like you are still married. I mean, you Jeez. can't, when you are married, you can't live as if you are single. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. Like, yeah. you have to answer to your husband. You have to answer to your wife, in a sense. If mm -hmm. that makes any sense. And also, yeah. I must stress this. Communicate with your spouse so much because I believe there are going to be people that are going to lie in the attempt to try to break you apart with your spouse. I think it is like very shocking. It's like, as it seems to me, some people rather have you live a life of fornication than for you to do things right and get married. Like, I think too, Bentu, some people were discouraging you to get married, which is strange. So yeah. strange. So... I hope this video makes sense. Do you have anything else to add? Well, pretty much. We've said it all. Before you get married, you should not just marry because um, this person is cute and handsome. You should, you should marry based on personality. Or like marry how much money that woman has or how much money the man has. Like that person has a nice car, a big house and stuff like that. Don't be shammed, I guess I can use. Shammed by what you see outwardly, but look what inwardly. Mm -hmm. You know... Because what I told my wife way back before she became my wife, I told her that I get interested by women by the way they act, by yeah. the way they are. Yes, somewhat from the outside, outward appearance, but more so from the inside. Because as my wife explained earlier, as time passes by, the way you look is going to change somewhat. You know, you may get wrinkles. You know, your chest may begin to sag. The men may <laughs> get all wrinkly and chubby and stuff like that or whatever else. So yes. I believe your interest in a person should have like a stable foundation. And I believe yes. that the marriage I have now is pretty much set on a stable foundation as on, I believe we try to live by the Bible according to our marriage. Right, Ben? Yes. So no matter how beautiful the man or woman is, no matter how prestigious they are, no matter how many trinkets they have, marry for the right reasons. I believe the Bible said too, I forget where, but if you aren't able to wait for sex to get married, and I am not going to argue against that, but pretty much look more inside than outside because I think some people divorce because of personality reasons. So yes. why marry because of what you see from the outside, but choose to divorce because of what you see that is in the inside, which makes no sense. So marry from what is in the inside, right? Yeah. Marry a person who is going to treat you right. Yes, 
that person may not be, you know, the best looking person ever. That person may not be very popular. That person may not be, may not wear the latest styles of clothes. That person may not be, you know, rich or popular, but will that person be able to stay with you until the day you die? So look for depth in your relationships. Yeah. I mean, well, your marriage. Look for depth for the person you are trying to be with. Don't look for mainly surface things. Anything else, Bento? No, I think I'm done. Okay. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> God bless you all. <laughs>